Hello, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about soap making and other handmade products. You can find videos on bar and liquid soaps, wax tablets and many other products. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and press the bell button so you don't miss out on any updates. Useful links and details are also provided in the description below. This time round, I'm making a palm-free shaving soap for my husband. I've actually made this recipe for my husband 45 years ago and now the soap has definitely hit bottom and he is in desperate need of new shaving soap. This soap was surprisingly long-lasting for my husband and it creates a nice stable ladder for shaving. Since he is in desperate need for a new soap, I will be doing hot process soap making so he can use it right away. In a shaving soap recipe, most of the oils are hard oils and here I have some soy wax, and refined shea butter, cocoa butter and coconut oil which are oils full of steric fatty acids. This will help to maintain a stable foam. The only soft oil I'm using in this recipe is castor oil to boost the bubbles they will make. So for hot process soap, I will be using my crock pot. Now I'm pouring all the oils into the crock pot and let it melt away. In the meanwhile, I went to make the lye solution. This shaving soap recipe I'm sharing this time will also be a dual lye recipe where I've used both sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. To make a dual lye solution, I normally dissolve the potassium hydroxide in water first because from experience, the heat caused to the water drops quicker than sodium hydroxide. I then add the sodium hydroxide into the same solution once the container is not hot to touch and the solution is clear. It took about 20 to 30 minutes for my hard oils to fully melt. And once the oils have melted, I went ahead to pour the lye solution down the stick blender into the oils to avoid splashing. Now, as with most hot process soap making recipes, all you do is blend away until the mixture doesn't separate. Since I always get questions about the light calculator and the exact amount that I use in my recipes, let's go through the soap calculator together. This is particularly important because this time potassium hydroxide is involved, where its purity varies from your sources, so it is important to run your formula through the light calculator. I have always used Sophie.com as my go-to light calculator. So when you enter the site, you click for the calculator and you can create an account to add and save your own recipes. Once you get to this page, you would choose hybrid soap and then it would ask you the ratio of potassium hydroxide to sodium hydroxide. The ratio for this recipe would be 60% potassium hydroxide and 40% sodium hydroxide. Then you enter the purity of your hydroxides by looking at the bottle labels and mine are 100% and 95% respectively. The amount of oils I would use this time would be 275 grams to yield about 400 to 500 grams of soap. The water in this recipe I've kept as normal to 38% but you can always use 2 to 1 ratio to make it trace faster but I think this soap already has many hard oils. The super fat and the fragrance I have kept at default. In this recipe, I am using 50% soy wax, 15% of cocoa butter and shea butter altogether that are really high in stearic acid. Then 25% of coconut oil and 10% of castor oil to create a nice leather. You can see in the recipe properties an idea of the kind of soap I will be making, which is a very hard, stable and long-lasting bar. So you see here, I just keep blending until the mixture doesn't separate and you can see the texture of the mixture slowly changing to a more solid state.
Once the oil mixture doesn't separate, just close the lid and come back to the soap every 15 minutes and stir it. I cooked the soap for a total of one hour. After an hour, I took the pot out to let the soap cool down so I can do the zap test where you place a tiny bit of soap paste on your tongue and it doesn't zap meaning that the soap is all done and ready. To finish up the soap, I'm adding my additives and fragrance. First, I'm adding a pantanol mixed with a bit of water to add some moisturizing properties to the soap. And then my essential oil mix of rosemary, lavender and cedarwood mixed with kale and clay. Some people say that it is not good to add clay to the shaving soap as it blunts the shaving blade. But I like to add it to anchor the scent and that my husband hasn't been complaining about that too. Once that's done, you can scoop the soap into the mold of your choice. I had the shaving soap molded in a bowl that had a wide mouth and that this time my husband said he wanted a switch. So I scooped it into this mold to make a round shaved soap. You can wait a few days to unmold the soap to let any extra moisture to evaporate from the soap. Since the soap is made from hot process method, the soap is ready for use. You can use the soap with a shaving brush and you can see the lather created from this soap is creamy, thick and stable, which is suitable for shaving. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos.